my name is Kelvin and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial for Procreate. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to make these kind of wreath illustrations and we're using a built-in feature in Procreate called rotationally assisted drawing. Now it's a little bit tricky to set it up but once we've set it up it's going to make painting wreaths like this super easy. So this video is going to cover basically two separate things. Uh, in the first part, I'm just going to show you really quickly how to set up the rotationally assisted drawing. And then in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to paint four different types of wreaths. Now, because I want to paint watercolor wreaths, I've already got a watercolor paper texture loaded into Procreate. And for the brushes, I'm using the regular watercolor set. And I'll put links to all these materials in the description down below. So I've also decided to include a wreath guide and you can see it here, it's this circular guide and it's just gonna help us with the layout of the wreath and it's just an image and I'll put a link where you can uh, download it in the description. Just when you place it in your Procreate document, make sure you set it to multiply because uh, otherwise it'll just cover up your artwork. So just change it to multiply like that. Now to set up the rotationally assisted drawing, what you gotta do is open up the layers panel and select a blank layer underneath the paper texture. Now go over to the wrench and then go to the canvas. And you see where it says drawing guide, just enable that. And it may show something really strange on the screen. It might even look different than what you see here, it doesn't matter. Just go to edit drawing guide. And now down here, select symmetry. Set the opacity around 60 to 70%. Set the thickness to around 40-50% like that, and then go to Options. And then here you can select Quadrant, and then turn on Rotational Symmetry and Assisted Drawing. And then after that, go ahead and click Done. And for some reason you have to click Done twice, I don't know why, but then it will apply those changes. Now if you do it that way, you can start painting pretty much right away, and you'll have this kind of rotationally assisted effect. But there's a trick, there's kind of a pitfall here that I want to explain. So let me open up the layers panel and you can see this layer that I'm painting on, it says assisted, but if I make a new layer and I start drawing, it's not assisted. It doesn't have that uh, effect. So what you have to do now is um, after you've already set up the rotationally assisted drawing, for each new layer, you can enable or disable that effect. And you can do that by just tapping on the layer. Then in the layer menu, just enable drawing assist. And you can tell that's an assisted layer because it will say in the little letters here, assisted and assisted. So now that we've got all the guides and the assisted drawing enabled, we can move on to uh, painting some cool wreaths. So the first wreath is gonna be uh, kind of a Christmas themed wreath. And I'm gonna go to the regular brush kit and I'm gonna use the new Aurora quill brush. And I'm gonna use that at a pretty big size and I'm gonna grab a kind of green color. And I'm just gonna go along the edge like this, almost like uh, I'm drawing pine needles, something like that. And after I do that initial pass, I'm gonna go over it again, but with a slightly different shade of that color. And then I want this to be a little bit more bluish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'll just shift the whole hue. There we go, that's a little bit better. And now after that, I'm just gonna add some holly berries. So I'm gonna make a new layer. And remember, by default, it won't be assisted. So when we paint it, it won't sort of uh, rotate and copy our illustration. You have to tap on that layer, go to the layer menu, and then enable drawing assist. Now with that done, I can just grab a kind of red color for these berries, I think something like that. Using that same brush at kind of a larger size, I'm just gonna add a few berries like this. You can see it's, it's really helpful, it's really just sort of duplicating that around. And uh, I wanna add some shading to these, so I'm gonna select a slightly lighter version of the red. And just kind of give them each a little highlight like that. And then I'll select a darker version and give them a little shadow. There we go. And then I'm going to select black and set my size really small and give each one just a little dot on the end. And the stem is really easy. I'm just going to select a very light color. And the reason I'm using a light color is because the background of this wreath, that first layer, it's very dark. So the light color will stand off and it will look really nice. Now for the brush, I think the Aurora Quill is um, a little bit too responsive. So I'm going to change it to the fine liner pen. And at a pretty small size, I'm just going to add in some kind of details for a branch. And this one is all done. Just make sure when you export it, you turn off that wreath guide um, because that will export with it on the image. And you probably just want this by itself. And uh, I think a wreath like this is really good for a card, even a poster or a print like that, because you can put some nice text layouts uh, in the middle. 
So for the next wreath, I'm going to try to do a sort of more uh, spring kind of a themed wreath. And I'm going to use the abstract round brush for this. And I'm going to use a very light green color just to start, something like that. Uh, and I'm just going to go around like this, and just add a kind of a light background to this. And after that, I'll make a new layer. I'm also going to make sure that one is set to drawing assist. And I'm going to draw with a slightly darker version of that color using the same brush, uh, just a couple of elements. And there we go, this one is all done. I'm just gonna merge the layers because I did this one on two different layers. So I'll just pinch those together. Then I'm gonna turn off the wreath guide. And as a finishing touch, I wanna add some kind of color variation to this. So while the wreath layer here is selected, I'm just gonna grab the selection tool and set it to freehand. Then I'm just gonna make a random selection like this. I'll feather it out quite a bit. Then I'll go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'll just shift the hue and kind of introduce a slightly bluer tone in there. And this is gonna make the wreath look more interesting and more like a real watercolor. I think the number one mistake that you might make as a beginner when it comes to painting wreaths is starting out by painting you know, 20 uh, very tiny detailed elements and it just becomes like a, uh, almost like a scribble. Um, the wreath look much nicer when you just try to keep it simple. So for my next wreath, I'm just gonna do something very simple but very moody, and I'm also gonna add a kind of black outline to it. Uh, and that's a cool effect because it can add the suggestion of detail uh, without really much work. So I'm gonna start out with the brush I used in the first place, the new Aurora Quill brush. And I'm just gonna choose a pretty yellowy, uh, desaturated kind of greenish color like that. And I'm just gonna add a kind of line going around the edge. And then I'm gonna go at a larger size and just add a few leaves like this. And after that, I'm gonna select a, maybe a darker, more greenish version of that color and then drop in a few more leaves. And then again, maybe one last pass, I'll choose a kind of a different color. And then I'm gonna go in there with the uh, water blender brush, but at a really small size. And uh, when you use the water blender, it's also gonna be kind of rotationally, um, or the effect is gonna be kind of twisted around. So even when I'm blurring it over here, um, you're still gonna have the effect occurring in other places. And I'm just gonna go in here and just kind of blend it just like you normally would, um, because I don't want it to look too much like gouache, I want it to look more like uh, watercolor. There we go, I've got some creative uh, blending going on there. And next, I'm gonna make a new layer, but I'm not gonna do the um, rotationally assisted drawing. I'm just gonna freehand this one. So I'm gonna select pure black, and I'm gonna grab the fine liner pen. And at a really small size, I'm just gonna go in there and just sort of outline a couple of these leaves like this. And I think this one also would look nice if I add some color variation. So I'll just turn off the wreath guide and then select the uh, colored wreath layer. I'm gonna grab the selection tool set to freehand and make another kind of random selection like this. Feather it out, hue, saturation, and brightness and just sort of drop in maybe a kind of a yellowish tone in there. And I think this one will look really nice as a uh, greeting card with some kind of a uh, text in there. Now for the last wreath I wanna demonstrate, I'm gonna do something a little bit differently because uh, now my assisted layers are, uh, they're basically set to four times. So basically what that means is uh, if I make a line, it's gonna be copied four times around. Uh, I wanna switch that to just be twice, sort of like mirroring it. So if I just clear this layer, I'm gonna go back to my wrench, go back to the canvas, and where it says edit drawing guides, I'm just gonna click that. And then over here, it's gonna still be, it's gonna remember the last settings. Uh, just go over here to options. And now it's set to quadrant. And that's quadrant as in four times. I'm gonna change it to horizontal. That's just gonna be basically copying it from one side over to the other. And when I apply that, you'll see what it looks like. Basically when I color on one side, it's gonna be rotating that effect around to the other side. Now for this wreath, I'm gonna grab the Aurora Quill again and it kind of a nice, a bright blue color. And for the first element, I'm just gonna do a really simple kind of branch, maybe something that almost reaches around. 
and then I'm just gonna add some big kind of loose leaves to it. And I think I want this to be a little bit more blue. That Aurora quill brush can be a little bit unpredictable, so I'm just gonna shift the hue. There we go. And I'm gonna grab my water blender and just sort of blend up some of those um, overlapping edges. There we go, and I'll make a new layer, and I'm gonna make sure this one is also set to drawing assist. And this time I'm gonna select a bright golden kind of yellow color, and I'm gonna use the fine liner pen. And I'm just gonna add another layer of leaves, but it's gonna be kind of like a ghost leaf or just an outline one. There we go, that looks pretty good. It does look a little bit pinched, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the guide, and then here's the two layers for that. I'm just gonna merge those together. I'm gonna grab the arrow tool and set it to warp. And then this will let me kind of warp and kind of manipulate this to make it look a little bit more rounded. And there we go. These are uh, four simple kind of recipes for making wreaths. And uh, I think they turned out really well. And uh, as usual, they printed out so nicely. And um, I'm not sure what I'll do with these, but I think I could turn them into cards. Uh, I think all of these wreath designs look really nice when you do some kind of uh, text layout in the center. And that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, as always, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.